The country is growing. The expectations we have for our future workforce, our innovators, our leaders, is growing. The complexity of our nation requires that more and more of our citizens are educated beyond the high school level. Across the nation, city after city, town after town, is a community of hardworking Americans, parents, children, co-workers, volunteers, our hardest working friends and neighbors who are ready to meet the challenge to better themselves and in turn, better the community that supports them. One of the demographics that is best served by community colleges is the student whose life circumstances make it difficult to rearrange their lives to work as full-time students. Often they have to continue to work a full-time job. They have families to take care of. They cannot commit to a full-time course load. It is this type of student who is most likely to work through their degree a few classes at a time, weaving schoolwork in between a life that is already busy. It is this type of student whose success is most likely to hinge on the availability of assistance. I have um, three kids, so I have to set aside time for them and also have to work and also have to attend Richland. I cut down my hours at work just so I can attend school. And the reason why I can attend school is to get a better job. So without the Pell Grant, it would just be extremely hard for me to want to st uh, work more and not go to school as much. I would probably have to stop school if I was to lose the Pell Grant. Nearly 80% of Pell Grant recipients who attended community colleges in the 2009-2010 academic year had family incomes of less than one and a half times the federal poverty threshold. 60% made less than $20,000 a year, putting them below the poverty level for a family of four. Currently, the program that provides the assistance for these students to attend school is in jeopardy because an appropriations bill proposed by House Republicans would eliminate Pell Grant funding for part-time students. Any change in the awarding of Pell Grants could seriously affect these students' ability to complete their degrees and training, find employment, or to advance in current jobs. In turn, it would also make it nearly impossible for people in similar situations in the future to further their education. Because I receive a Pell Grant, it makes things easier because I don't have to pay for books out of my own pocket. This semester alone, I needed three textbooks and it cost me like, close to $400, and without the Pell Grant, I would have been stuck. I don't know where I would have got my books. Richland Community College students are no different from those across the nation who rely on Pell Grants. For example, in fall 2009, 895 students received financial support through Pell Grants. Of that 895 students, 579, or 64%, were part-time students, attending fewer than 12 hours. In fall 2010, when the unemployment rates were sky high and both laid off and incumbent workers wanted to expand their skill sets to increase their earning potential, 1,228 students received financial support through Pell Grants. 68% of that total, or 845 students, attended classes part-time. What would happen to those students if their Pell Grant awards were eliminated? And Richland Community College is just one of 48 community colleges in Illinois. The loss of the Pell Grant would be like hitting the wall for me, very frankly, because I simply wouldn't be able to uh, pursue an education, and that is absolutely essential to my new life. I'm used to having a very busy work schedule, and uh, I had quite a career going before uh, things came along that changed that. If I can't retool, if I can't learn new skills, if I can't uh, expand my education so I'm able to do that, then uh, nothing that I'm doing right now is going to come to anything. In a time when the U.S. is losing ground in the education race and the new jobs that are being created require at least some post-secondary education, the education and retraining of hardworking adults will become a necessity that the United States cannot afford to lose. Having been a program uh, coordinator, director at Richland Community College for a number of years, I have seen students struggle financially. Uh, they have a, a lot on their plate. They have children, they have jobs, they have all types, of, all types of responsibilities. And they need that extra income because they are stretched very thin and they're making sacrifices as it is. If they would do away with the Pell Grant and, this, and the help that the students receive, it would be devastating to us uh, as a college, as a community, as a state, as a country. Pell Grants, particularly those awarded to part-time students, are an investment in our future that serves the needs of individuals, communities, and ultimately the nation. 
We have the power to influence our future. We have the power to stifle it or to improve it. State by state, city by city, person by person. We can make it happen.